Hello, welcome to Active Fenland's Virtual Festival. I'm Val and I teach yoga. Let's take a look at some yoga moves. We're going to start by bringing ourselves into an upright standing position. You don't need special equipment. I'm working from a yoga mat. Work on a surface that's secure for you. We're going to start down at those feet. Find a position where your feet are comfortable, anywhere between hip width and those toes coming in together. Think about your toes being down on to the floor. We're looking for a sense of grounding, feeling the floor beneath our feet. If your balance is good, roll the weight into the balls of the feet, lengthen through the sole of your foot and place your heel down. Having sorted the position of a feet, let's think about the position of those legs. Think about your legs being nice and tall, strengthening into your legs. Try not to lock out your knees. Then we can bring our focus to our hips and our pelvis. We're looking for our hips to be directly over our heels. A sense of balance through the left and right. And thinking about the tilt through that pelvis. Bring it into as square a position as you can. A gentle tone on the abdominal muscles, maybe drawing the navel back towards the spine. Lengthening in your lower back, a sense of curling that tailbone under. Grow tall through your spine. Imagine the top of the head is lifting towards the ceiling long in your neck and open through your throat. Chin level, gaze straight forwards. Thinking about your shoulders. Try and make your shoulders wide, lengthening into your collarbones. Chest should feel open and the arms should be able to release comfortably to your side. Palms might be turned inwards or slightly forwards with the fingers and thumbs relaxed. This is our Tadasana or mountain pose, standing tall. A gentle tone through the muscles of the body. Now bring your focus to your breath. If you can, you're breathing in and out through your nose. As we breathe in, we should think of opening and expanding. And as we breathe out, we relax and release. Finding your breath, breathing in to open, breathing out to release. As we become aware of our body and our breath, we often refer to this in yoga as becoming here and now, in the moment. In breath to open, out breath to release. If you feel stable, you might want to try closing your eyes or softening your gaze. It's normal when we do this to feel a gentle sway through the body. Your choice, work with your body, find what feels right for you. Still breathing in to open and out to release. Have a nice long deep breath. Aware of standing tall, aware of the weight through your feet. Then we're going to gently drop that chin down towards the chest and open our eyes. And bring that head to look straight forward. 
We're going to have a little ease out through the body next. So if you want to change that position to be slightly wider on your feet, please do. We're going to take our focus into our shoulders. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. And then slide those shoulder blades down the back of the body towards the waist. Draw your shoulders up. And send your shoulders down. A third one if you're happy to, shoulders draw up. And we send the shoulders down. Let's roll through those shoulders now. Take your shoulders up towards your ears. Take them back and down. Bringing them forwards. Up, back, down. So the shoulders come forwards. Up, last one, take them back, down. They complete the circle coming forwards and to the top. And then let's take them the other way. Shoulders forwards, down, back, up, forwards, down, back, and up. Third one, if you can. And then allow your shoulders to relax, so give them a wriggle. Let's do a little work into the neck. Work carefully with your neck. The head is heavy. You're in control of the movement. Make it nice and steady. Keeping your neck long, draw your chin in towards the throat. We feel the back of the neck stretching up between the shoulder blades. Bring your chin to level. Try and keep long through the back of the neck as you tilt the chin slightly up. See if we can repeat, drawing that chin down and in towards the throat, feeling the back of the neck lengthen. Lifting the chin through centre, keep the back of the neck long. Chin and gaze lifting slightly. If you're happy to, we'll do a third. Chin coming down and in to the throat, feeling the back of your neck lengthening. Bringing your head to centre and taking that chin up for a final time. And then returning that chin to a level position. We'll have a little look to each side next. Gently turning your head to look to one side. Nice and steady as you bring your head across centre and look to the other side. Bringing your head to centre. If you feel giddy, please stop. If you're happy to, taking the head to look to the side again. Bringing your head to centre. Take your head to look to the other side. Chin stays level and we return that head to centre. Taking your head to look to the side. And one more to the other side, working steadily as you bring that gaze across the front. Head returns to centre. Let's do a little work for our hands and our wrists. Can you wriggle through your fingers and thumbs? Putting as much movement into your finger and thumb joints as you can. Feeling a stretch through the palm and the back of your hand. Then we'll move into the wrist. You might do a simple circle or you might do something more complex. But move into your wrist. If you are circling, we each please change direction and circle the other way. And then we'll give those hands a nice little shake out as if we're shaking water droplets from our fingertips. We're going to take our focus down into our feet next. So if you need a hand on the wall to balance, please do. Let's point a toe strongly, opening the front of the ankle. 
Then let's place the heel down on the mat and draw those toes up towards you. So we point our toes down, opening the front of the ankle. And then we place the heel down and draw those toes up. So one more, pointing the toes down. Heel down, drawing the toes up. Then we'll change to the other leg. Make sure you're balanced before you change to the other leg. Pointing those toes. Hand on the wall if you need to for support. Then heel down, drawing those toes up. Pointing the toes. On the heel, drawing those toes up. Feel the back of your ankle stretch. Last one, pointing those toes. Then heel down, toes up. Make sure your feet are relaxed. If they want a little shake, they can have a little shake. Now we're going to work into a rotation. So again, if you need a hand on the wall, have the hand on the wall. Lifting one foot from the floor and circling through your ankle. A few times in one direction, then a few in the other. Maybe you can shake that foot out before it comes down and we'll work into the other foot. A few circles in one direction, followed by a few circles in the other direction. Working into that ankle, a little shake out and bring that foot down. Let's think about taking our spine in all its different directions. We'll start with a twist. Will you have your feet a little wider than your hips? We're gonna release those arms to the side. Think about being nice and tall through your spine, soften a little bit into your knees, feet firmly down into the floor. Twisting to your right. Keep your knees soft. Feel that you're turning a little through the ankles, through the hips, the waist, the shoulders, and maybe you can turn through your head and neck. Nice and steadily returning to the front. Then let's take that twist to the left. Little bend in those knees, twisting round to the left, soft in your knees, twisting through ankles, through hips, through waist, shoulders, maybe your head and nice and steadily bringing yourself forward. Let's make that a little stronger. We'll place the right hand into the back of the waist and we'll place the left hand onto the right shoulder. And we'll go into our twist once more. Softness in your knees, feet firmly down onto the floor. Turning to your right. Keep that softness in your knees as you twist through ankles, hips, waist, chest, shoulders, neck and chin. Nice and steadily bringing yourself forward. Let's change our hand position. So we'll bring the left hand into the back of the waist, right hand to the left shoulder, firmly down through those feet, ankles softly bent and twist yourself round to the left. Breathe. We've got a little bend in those knees still. Those ankles are twisting. So are the hips, the waist, the chest, the shoulders, the neck. And nice and steadily bringing yourself forwards. And we'll take a straightening stretch up. Hold one hand in the other and lengthen up. Draw the abdomen in, tuck the tailbones under, and release those arms out. We'll take ourselves into a side bend. Take your feet a little wider. We're going to use the hands on the sides of the leg as a guide. Breathe in at centre. As you breathe out, slide to one side. I'm going to my right. 
the body stays full with the right hands trying to stretch down. Using an in-breath to come up. Make sure you're tall at centre. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, slide down to your left. The shoulders are coming over. We're feeling a stretch in the right side of the waist as that left hand reaches down. Use your in-breath to come up. Let's make that a little bit harder. Can you bring your left arm up in the air? Breathe in and lengthen here. As you breathe out, go over to the right. Sliding that right hand down your leg. Keep your body facing forwards. Feel the left side of your waist opening. Breathe. Use an in-breath to come up. Release your arm down. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's change sides. Stretch up through your right arm. Breathe in here. As we breathe out, go over to the left. Left hand stretching down that leg. The right side of the body feels that it's opening. Keep breathing in your side bend. And using your in-breath coming up. Release that arm down. Let's take another straightening stretch at centre. If you'd like to bring your feet together, hold one hand in the other and stretch up. Releasing those arms out. We'll go for a forward bend next. We're going to have those feet about hip width apart, soften the knees. Hands onto the front of the thighs. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Roll yourself down into a forward bend. Try and keep your knees relaxed. It doesn't matter if your forward bend doesn't see your fingertips touching the floor. But we're looking to relax the head, neck and shoulders. So that, that spine is lengthened. Being mindful of the lower back, we bend our knees, place our hands onto our thighs and gently roll up through the spine. Be careful as you come up to standing, your head has been lower than your heart. Let's make this a little harder. Hands onto hips, soften those knees just a little, lift the chest and the chin. Take an in-breath, and as you breathe out, try and hinge forwards, allowing the body to move forwards, keep your knees bent. When you're fully forwards, release your hands and see if they'll come down to the floor. Encourage the head, neck and shoulders to lengthen. Forward bend. We'll come up nice and steadily, bending those knees, placing the hands onto the thighs and gently uncurl. So now we're going to take ourselves into a back bend. Take your feet a little wider than your hips. Take your arms a little away from your body. So we've got this position. Lift through your chest. Imagine the breastbone is lifting up towards the ceiling. Draw your shoulder blades back. Soften your knees and tilt your chin up slightly, taking your gaze up a little. You don't have to look directly overhead. Those shoulder blades drawing back and the chin lifted. It's enough to take us into a back bend. Roll your shoulder and your head forwards. We're going to bring ourselves next into our warrior position. Will you take your feet nice and wide? Warrior Virabhadrasana. Let's turn out our right foot. Pivot on your heel. Your right toes are facing out. 
If this is very tight in the hips, turn the left toes inwards a little. We're going to bend into our right knee. We want that knee to be directly over the heel or a little way behind the heel. We try and keep the body facing in the original direction as we lengthen those arms out at shoulder level, palms down to the mat. Turn your head to look along your right arm. Keep that back arm up. Breathe. We're in our warrior stretch. Every muscle in your body should be working. We're keeping the weight balanced between the left and right foot. Our chest is open. We're lengthening into the fingertips. We're going to come out turning that head forwards, lowering the arms down, straightening that right knee and turning the right foot in. Let's see if we can take that over to the left. Turn out on your left heels. Keep your body facing in the original direction. You need to turn those right toes in a little. Let's bend into that left knee. Knee directly over here or a little behind. Feel the weights balance between those legs. Take your arms out wide at shoulder level and reach into your fingertips. Palms are facing down to the mat. This time our head turns and looks to the left. Breathe. Feeling every muscle in your body working as you lengthen into your fingertips open through your chest to come out we bring that head forwards release the arms down straighten that left leg and bring the foot in we can walk those heels in towards each other we're going to bring ourselves down onto the mat next into our cat pose. So we're going to come onto our hands and knees. However, you're happy to get down onto your mat. For our cat pose, we want to find our wrists directly under our shoulders, our knees directly under our hips. We think about having a flat back, being long through the spine, long in the neck, the gaze is down at the mat. Maybe we can spread those fingers and thumbs a little wider and really put a handprint into the mat. Relax your toes. Draw the abdomen up slightly so we're engaged through the abdominal muscles. And let's work into our cat cow stretch. Allow the abdomen to relax down and look forward. You might bring that chest through the arms slightly. And then we'll go the other way, working through your spine, bring your chin under, your tail under, lift high through the back of the waist. Try and draw that abdomen up. Relaxing and releasing, abdomen lowers, head looks forwards. Find this movement in your spine. Working into another arch. Chin tucking in, tail tucking under. Lifting high through the back of the waist. Abdominal muscles engaged. Can you manage one more? Relaxing and releasing the abdomen down as you look forward. Bringing yourself into your arch. Tailbone under, chin tucked in, lifting the abdomen up. Returning to your flat back. Find that length in the spine. We'll see if we can bring ourselves into child pose next. Take your bottom back towards your heels. Bring your hands back towards your ankles. And maybe you can tuck your head away. Curled up in our child pose. Okay. 
From here, we'll bring ourselves into a comfortable sitting position and we'll take time to do a little breathing. I'm going to sit cross-legged, you don't have to. Please find a suitable position for you where you can sit with a good solid base, the parts of the body that are in touch with the floor and keep your spine nice and upright. In yoga, we often use hand mudras. Today I'm going to pinch the end of the thumb and the end of the first finger together and keep the other fingers straight and open, palms turned up. These can rest on your thighs, on your knees, by your sides, wherever is comfortable for you. So that sense of sitting nice and tall. Take a moment to find a comfortable base. If you can, the pelvis is upright. We're nice and tall through the spine. Long in the neck. Chin level. Shoulders settling so the chest feels open. If you can, breathing in and out through the nose. Maybe you're happy to close your eyes and bring your focus in. Looking to breathe in from the diaphragm all the way up towards the collarbones. And looking to empty from the collarbones down. Aware of a nice steady flow to your breath. Breathing in from down at the abdomen, up through the rib cage, towards the collarbones. And breathing out from the collarbones, down through the rib cage, maybe even drawing that abdomen in a little. Find a steady, Flow to your breath. Sitting tall and upright. Shoulders relaxed. Chest open. Being in touch with your breath. Nice, steady breath. When you're ready to release from your breathing, we drop that chin down towards the chest and open the eyes. We release our hand posture and lift the chin so you're looking forward. We're going to use those arms to take a nice big breath together. As you breathe in, lift your arms upwards. Palms might gently touch. As you breathe out, your arms are going to come down. We'll finish our session with a traditional yoga move of hands in prayer. So thank you very much. Namaste. I hope you've enjoyed this session. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.